Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and welcome to a new video. Ooh, so today we are talking about how I quit my job without a backup plan. Now this is a very long-winded story with numerous chapters, so it's gonna take a lot for you to understand my thought process, and then also discussing the outcome and why I decided to make a leap of faith that I made, and then of course giving you guys a proper update as to where I am now with my decision making and how I feel in regards to making that big decision. But yeah, you guys, make sure to grab some popcorn, grab a snack, grab you a nice little drink because we have a lot to talk about. So let's get started. Okay y'all, so for this story to make sense, I need to give you guys a little bit of background information on me if you're unfamiliar. So my name is Danny, and my main goal in my career choice when I was in undergrad was to go to law school. So everything I did in undergrad leading up to that was just being very strategic about ensuring that when I was ready to apply, I would be a great candidate, of course, right? This means that um, back in undergrad, my sophomore year, I gained a legal internship, which then turned into a full-time job by the time that I graduated undergrad. So I had that job for about two years or so, primarily part-time and then transferring into full-time before getting a job offer to move to New York and work for a big law firm, once again, as a paralegal in my field. So I did that for about a year and a half and then just worked for a series of big law firms, some mid-sized firms, before ultimately making the decision to part ways with my decision to go to law school. This came with a lot of trials and just really understanding who I was as a person. If you want a more in-depth video on just what that whole process in itself was like, I'll definitely make sure to link it on the screen because I talked in-depth about it when I was making my decision. So ultimately, after I decided that going to law school was a dream of mine that I more so wanted in undergrad and it didn't really fulfill the goals that I had for myself as I was aging, I decided to instead pivot and go to business school. So that is what I'm doing now. I'm currently in my last semester graduating this December and I felt like once again, this was the perfect time to discuss my journey just because it's coming to an end and I've had so many ups and downs throughout. So going back and discussing my legal career, I was specifically working in immigration within the legal field. If you've been a paralegal, if you just know the law in general, it's very straightforward essentially, right? It depends on which type of law you practice. With immigration specifically, typically everything is standardized. So once you're able to do one thing and you specialize in it, you'll be doing that for the rest of your career as you continue to move on up. So I was fortunate enough to make it into a senior role within my firm. And at this time I had also started um, my MBA program back in 2022. So my initial goal was to work within the legal field, continue to obviously save money because I still had expenses. Um, I was renting at the time. So I still had bills, different things that would do. So I still wanted to obviously have money, but I wanted to make sure that I was focusing on getting my MBA with a concentration in marketing because I realized that not only through having this channel on YouTube, but through my extracurricular activities and just hobbies that I enjoy in general, I just realized that I had more of a passion for things that were marketing related because it allows you to essentially look at data, look at research and make decisions accordingly. Right? And I feel like that was the difference between the career that I wanted to go into versus the career that I was presently in. I felt very bored, um, especially once I knew that I wasn't going to go to law school. I just wanted to make sure to do everything I could to do well in my program because that was my ticket out of my current career, right? Once again, everything was going fine. I was fortunate enough to manage my full-time job and then going to school part-time in the evenings. It was not easy at all. It was not easy. Um, I know a lot of people do it, but it needs to be emphasized that doing something like that is not easy. Eventually in 2023, there was a company restructuring for that job. They let me go, which was extremely devastating for me because I did not see it coming at all. I just had different financial goals that were contingent upon my position and just being what to make money at that job. So being let go just abruptly, this was in May, 2023. I just felt like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Like, where do I go from here? Because after a series of interviews and applying to different companies and firms, fast forward to September 2023, I was fortunate enough to gain another position in a big law firm, working as a paralegal once again within the immigration field. So yeah, started the job in September while once again also going to school part-time. Now about October, November, I believe, my school ended up sending out an email saying that they were changing the curriculum of our program. This essentially meant that they were reducing the amount of credit hours it would take to graduate and also having an online portion of the program that would be available starting this school year, right? Fall of 2024. Now, they told us ahead of time because they essentially were letting students who were already enrolled in their MBA program make the decision as to whether they wanted to stick to the longer program, which was more cost effective, or they had the decision to switch to the shorter program, which you'd be able to graduate quicker, but tuition would essentially double. For me personally, I 
I was set to graduate spring of 2025, right? So not this December, but spring, right? The spring that's upcoming. And as I've stated, getting my degree was going to be the key that I needed to be able to change careers. So once I heard that I potentially had the ability to graduate at a quicker rate, I immediately decided I had to take advantage of it because I knew that in the long run, it would benefit me more just so that I could enter the workforce six months earlier and do everything I could in the time that I had left to make sure I was in a good position to graduate with a full-time offer right this conversation once again happened right before winter semester was over so fast forward to january earlier this year this is when we we're really going to have to make the decision and let our advisors know kind of prepare mentally financially if we needed to just to get ready to prepare for the new program kick starting once again i'm still working this job in the legal field that i'm not super passionate about and i realized wow i'm graduating this december not spring of 2025 i'm graduating this december 2024 if i continue to work in this job i am not going to be in a good position to have a full-time offer by the time that i graduate given the state of the job market right if you remember it took me about four months the previous year to even get the role in the law firm in the first place so i knew mentally that it would take me another four to six months to get an internship or potentially a full-time job offer that would once again put me in a good position by the time that i graduated with this information in mind i really had to sit down with myself to understand like okay this is where you are right now but these are your goals like you know your goals you see them you've written them down you've prayed about them you know that you're going to walk across that stage in december how are you going to bridge the gap between where you are and where you need to be and what needs to be done and so because that job was literally taking up so much of my time once again with the commute just to run you through my schedule i'd wake up at 5 45 i'd leave my house at 6 because i would work out before the gym because health and fitness is really important to me and despite how busy your schedule is you should still prioritize the things that sustain you that make you strong mentally physically all those things are still important so yeah so waking up at 5 45 leaving my house by 6 after my hour commute i'd get to my job by like 7 i had a gym downstairs that i would use so i work out for about an hour hour and a half or so i would shower get ready and then take the elevator up to my job and then work the rest of the day right of course i'd have a lunch break and stuff just to maybe sneak some assignments in if i had anything that i needed to do in preparation for class but i had class twice a week i would take two different classes at a time typically so typically at five o'clock i would get off work i had class at 5 30. thankfully my campus and my job were literally in the same area so despite the traffic i would get to class maybe at about 5 25 25 and then once again be in class from 5 30 to about 9 45. imagine that being your schedule on top of having to to maintain a job and just show up when you're there like as your full self because you don't get to hide behind your screen like you're gonna have meetings you're gonna have to be social for various reasons so after understanding everything that it was really taking for me to have this position I realized that it wasn't going to be possible for me to really dedicate myself to my job searching journey if I still worked in this position that I wasn't even passionate about and in reality I didn't need to work in that position at the moment because once again I had already moved back home although I did have financial goals things I was saving for I knew that what was more important in the moment was making sure that my career was set for the future steps ahead ultimately just after being under a lot of stress and just not really knowing what to do and praying and like I asked God to truly guide me throughout my decision-making process I decided to quit my job the second week of January of this year and dedicate myself to my program being a full-time student essentially and my job search right which essentially is a job in its own so initially i didn't really know what i was doing to be honest like i had no plan b i want that to be very clear i quit my job with no plan b just vibes and i was just trusting god that like he knew where my heart was he knew my goals he knew my future plans and he was going to make something move for me okay in my favor one thing about god and i always say this right like he hears you he knows the desires of your heart he sees you but just because you want something you're not going to get it tomorrow you might not get it next week it might not even be next month okay so with the free time that i had since i wasn't working anymore i made sure to strategically only apply to marketing positions for me, I felt like the easiest way to transition into the marketing field would be to use the five years or so of experience that I already had professionally. So my main goal was to focus on legal marketing or potentially social media marketing.
marketing because I do have experience with social media, um, obviously through YouTube and just marketing myself to different brands and obviously to my subscribers, of course. Um, I was able to draft up a creative portfolio, get it reviewed, edited, things like that. Just focusing on everything that I would need to put myself in a position where somebody would want to hire me, okay? And when I tell you that I was scared, I was scared because it's really, really difficult to go from being almost like a specialist in one field to now being basically at the bottom of the barrel begging people for internships, like just begging people for a door in. There were a lot of times where I just like wasn't sure anymore because I started to second guess myself as to whether I could have done this while still having a job. Like, did I need to leave my job to apply to other jobs or could I have just made a little bit more time, squeeze a little bit more time in my schedule to do this, you know? And ultimately, I'm not sure, right? I think in extreme situations, you are more capable of doing certain things than you realize. But for me, ultimately, I had made a decision to quit my job, so I just had to live with that and make the most of my current circumstance. And so in February was when I started to hear back from companies and start having interviews for different positions. I interviewed at law firms for legal marketing positions. I interviewed with various agencies, specifically with digital marketing or social media marketing roles. And this was a process that literally lasted from February until June, literally. February 2024 until June of 2024. And believe it or not, when I had the interview for the role that I currently have that I'll of course tell you guys more about, I literally had to have the interview on vacation because I wanted to make sure that I was able to have the interview, no hiccups, I didn't want to delay it any further. The vacation was pre-scheduled, but I had Wi-Fi and I had a good location. So when I tell you it was the grace of God that I got this offer, like it was literally the grace of God because how many people do you know that take job interviews on vacation and like get the role you know what i mean like that itself isn't a blessing and i'm so grateful like god works in mysterious ways but when i tell you that it's for you will never pass you by that is a proverb okay so yeah despite the journey despite the ups and downs despite how close i felt i was to getting other positions along the way between um april through june i was extended an offer for an internship position with a company i'm currently working for and honestly this position is really really great and i can tell that god literally handpicked it for me because what they said in the interview was they truly valued who i was as a person and that was my prayer to God this whole time, these last few months. I was like, God, I want someone to see me for the talents that I have and just want to pour into me more to allow me to fine tune a lot of the things that I have just been doing organically on my own and you know, learn how to do this on a corporate level versus just doing this leisurely, right? So yeah, it was genuinely that. They were very impressed with my portfolio, just listing out things that I've done um, on my own. And then of course, they were impressed with my education, the things I learned the certifications that I've been given through my marketing courses and my program. Sorry, I think my camera cut off for a bit there, but yeah, this position, once again, is handpicked for me. It just feels like the certifications I've been able to get through the classes I've been taking really are like able to assist me. And I'm really excited to now be able to create like a professional portfolio strictly, given the tasks that I'm able to do in my internship. Um, they trust me, they trust my judgment. We're able to go back and forth. I'm able to actually offer up ideas, which is something that is so different for me, given that in my previous career, I was just more so doing what I was told because there wasn't much room for discussion, right? Or much room for exploration. It was more so just like, this is pretty standardized. You might have to do a little bit of thinking, deep digging, searching, but otherwise this is what it is. And I think that's what I value so much because it's just so nice to feel like you are learning every day. Like you're you're trying something new, you're learning from the people around you, you have them as a resource. Like it just feels really good to be in the position I'm in and to be working for the company that I'm working for. And I know that God did this intentionally for me. And so I think that's ultimately why I'm so grateful because I genuinely feel so seen. I genuinely feel like, you know, the timing of it once again was perfect because God willing, right? Like I have time to create my professional portfolio and I know God is here on me as I say that I want and I'm searching and I'm praying for a full-time offer by the time that graduation comes around. So yeah, that's ultimately my journey. But I just want to make sure to emphasize a few key takeaways, which are essentially map out what your life looks like for yourself, right? Like if you're in a similar position as me or as I was, it's very important for you to understand what your goals are and to understand 
where the gap lies between where you presently are and where you want to be. And once you understand that, you figure out how to get to point Z. Throughout the application process, I was reaching out to people on LinkedIn. I was doing all types of advocating for myself that I'd never done before. And I was just so proud of myself because old me just never would have done that. Old me would have just sent out applications and just waited. But there were so many times where I would see positions, I would reach out to the recruiters. If I had previously applied for the company for a different role, I would reach out to once again, the same recruiter, see if they had a contact for me and then go that way. And that's a lot of the ways that I was able to excel and move forward a little bit within my application process, right? And I also want to let you guys know that even in the moments where you don't get the roles that your heart might've really wanted, know that you are still interviewing for a role that is similar to what you might want or what you might get in the future. So all this is just preparation and practice for the interview that is for you. I interviewed with about five or six companies before I interviewed with the company that I'm working for currently. And initially when I first started my interview process, I was so, I was so unsure of myself. I didn't think I had the confidence to speak on the stuff that I was doing because it was genuinely imposter syndrome. And just to be able to eventually, you know, put all these things into proper words, have the portfolio to show the work that I've done, just build that confidence within myself to be able to show other people why I'm a marketable candidate, why I deserve to be in the position that I'm applying for. All of that led to this and I want that to be emphasized because once again like we, we say, God, I need this tomorrow, but we don't know what needs to happen between now and whenever our next opportunity is. We don't know what needs to happen in that period that will lead us to where we really want to be, right? You never want to be in a position where you're given something that you aren't ready for because what are you going to do, you know? Literally, what are you going to do? So that was one of my biggest takeaways. Secondly, you have to take the leap of faith when you feel that it's what needs to be done. Once again, it's oftentimes we are the only people in our way of achieving the goals that we have. We just have to look around and assess our circumstance to see how much of a risk needs to be taken. I was in a fortunate position because I didn't need to be working full time at the moment. I just wanted to because I had financial goals, but I do not regret taking that time off to be able to be in a position that I am now to focus on what is next for me, right? And I do want to encourage everyone in my position to do the same if that's what you're looking for. And just, you know, believe in yourself, fight for yourself, advocate for yourself, learn yourself. Like in this whole process, I learned so much about myself in terms of my skill sets and then things I need to work on, very evidently need to work on. And these are things that I'm able to attack head on and just really ensuring to work on who I am as I continue to age and grow in my career. And despite how humbling this experience has been for me, I just have a different perspective. And I ultimately just pray for everyone who is in a similar position as me, that they gain the clarity and the understanding that God truly provides for them in a way that that will be undeniable, okay? That they will see that this was handpicked just for you. And what that's for whatever, whether you're saving for a house, a new car, whether you wanna take your dream vacation, whether you just wanna have your savings set up for anything that happens in the future, whatever it is that you're chasing in this life I pray and I hope truly that you were able to find that for yourself achieve those goals and gain a level of understanding for who you are as a person okay so yeah I did it I quit my job with no backup plan but ultimately it has been a blessing in so many ways and I'll also say not to mention that period of time where I also wasn't working I was heavily focusing on YouTube and you have to figure out how to use your time efficiently. I knew that by sacrificing one thing, I'd be able to focus on a few other areas in my life that could potentially put me in a better position. And some of the videos that I put out in the time where I didn't have my job um, are now on my portfolio and people are able to see my creativity accordingly, right? Like these are videos that I published, I edited, I published, and it showcases my creativity, who I am as a person. And this, once again, makes me more marketable for the roles that I'm going into. Right, so just find a way to make it work for yourself and don't be afraid to ask people for help. Whew, if that is one lesson I'm learning today and forever, that'll be the lesson. Do not be afraid to ask people for help. Don't be afraid to ask strangers for help because if they say no, okay, on to the next one. Like, Also, don't underestimate the power of weak ties, okay? People are more willing to assist us than we think and we just let our innate biases and just our thoughts inhibit us from asking people for assistance, but in reality, they want to help us and we just have to put ourselves in position to humble ourselves, right, and ask them. 
yeah you guys that was my journey i'm so glad that i was finally able to talk about this i've been wanting to talk about it for a while I'm just waiting for the right time but thank you guys so much for watching um, i hope this video was helpful to you if it was please leave a comment below subscribe of course check out the rest of my channel for more videos relating to health fitness fashion my mba program vlogs just things that i do to occupy my time and yeah thank you guys so much for watching once again i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye